Hey everybody, it's Dawn, and welcome back to my channel, C'est La Vie. Today I have a quick little AliExpress haul to show you guys, mainly craft items. I'm going to jump right in. I do have another stamp and die one, but I want to get all the dies cut out and some of the stamps match the dies and I want to get all that ready to show you so that'll be in a separate video so today I'm just gonna jump right in and show you some of the things that have come in uh, the first thing are just these pack of I believe they were 20 lobster clasps and I got them in copper and then I got them in silver so I have copper and silver so I got them in that I also believe I ordered them in gold and they haven't come in yet. I ordered these vintage looking stickers, which I will just open them up right now and show you. These can be used as in... The snow nails are just killing me. <laughs> anyway, I was trying not to wreck the box, but looks like I might have to. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly, looks like it comes with two of each clocks. Oh, sorry. Clocks. Uh, these beautiful flowers. I'm just going to try and get lower for you. Sorry about that. It's trying to bounce back up. Okay, so these flowers, these feathers. They're really cute. Uh clock feathers and gears gears uh, keys um, candles roses with an arrow sorry about the glare there I'm having a brain where I can't remember these things. Hourglass. Oh, it came. Typewriter. One cool thing. I got my grandpa's typewriter. My parents gave it to me at Christmas. Now you just have to order some ribbon for it. I can still get some ribbon. It is... I have to order it from Amazon, I believe. Um, but they've made adapter ribbon. Uh, bird. Some feathers and flowers, and it looks... Oh, I'm not even going to say the name of the bird. I thought it was a sparrow, but I don't think it is. Um, violin. An envelope with the seal. That, uh, can't think of it. The boat driving thing. I'm sorry, I am not in, uh, that kind of a sailor. I'm not a sailor. Light with the shadow. Um... Some, looks like birds or doves with a book. That would be real. oh, sorry, I was going to say, that would be really cute for people who Bible journal. It's beautiful. Um, the feather and the ink. Uh, more gears, feathers, and flowers. A couple vintage tea cups. Uh, what's this? Some keys and... Oops, I forget what that's called. I, I know, but I can't think of it. Uh, some butterflies and... Oh, oh, some of them it was only... Oh, no, two, sorry. Okay, and then a an, uh, wreath with feathers and flowers. Oh, that's right up my alley. <laughs> that's gorgeous. And a little post, a uh, little mailbox. So that is the stickers. Next, I have... It's called, it's a 60 piece, 64 piece set, sorry, called Time Remembered. And it, I believe when I ordered it, is vellum ephemera. Yeah. And it is, oh, there's all kinds of it. Like, that's a pen that just fell there. We've got numbers. Um. Uh, an ink bottle, find your happy place. I'm just seeing if I can get some white paper. I'll just put it over top. Yeah, maybe some white be easier for this stuff because it's black and white. 
uh, labeled ephemera, more typewriters, uh, look, cam old cameras, more numbers, lots of numbers, uh, some dress forms. Is that that fell? This date stamp. Some black and white flowers, some ephemera. <laughs> uh, looks like old stamps. Got a guy on a bike here. Sorry, it's falling. <clears throat> guy on a bike. These expressions. We've got <clears throat> air. Oops, sorry about the camera. Airmail hitting, or er, airmail stamps. Hot air balloon. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> very Tim Holtz feely, or uh, Graphic 45, actually. This reminds me very much of Graphic 45. Dolls. Frames. Clocks. Just a label piece. Uh, enjoy each day, that says. Some butterflies. They're upside down. A trumpet. Gu that. Oh, it's not a guitar. <laughs> uh, but that. Uh, got more guys on a bike. More ukulele like things, but they're not ukuleles. A scale. Old fashioned scale. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Bird cages, clock, stopwatch, sorry. Looks like it's over an equation with a butterfly and some ink. Another one of those. And then we have, it looks like an old library card with botanical. Yeah, and then another date stamp. So that's really cute. Really happy with that ephemera. And then I had more ephemera come in, and this one is called Written Sticker. And I believe this was also 64 pieces. I believe it was from, everything is in Asian, so I can't read it. There's not no translation on it for this pack. So I'm not 100% sure how many pieces, but I believe it's from the same seller, you guys, and I believe it was all uh, 64 pieces. So anyway, this is all blank and it's uh, tags. Uh, this will be really nice in uh, junk journals. It's got like a, a piece of tape holding an old tag. And I had junk journals in mind. I've never made one, but I have them in mind. And this is what I ordered this for. So I got that. It's got like the clothes pins. Just trying to go through this stuff quickly. It's got you know, it looks like a Polaroid picture that's been peeled off. Scrapbooking, too. This would be really nice for that. Trips. Uh, looks like a piece of paper is held on with a clip. And no, I can't talk today. Held on with a paper clip. Again, more with the date stamp and the wax seal. Uh, an envelope piece. Yeah, quite a few of these. Uh, this piece looks like it's being held on with a... Oh, I'm just going to stop that <laughs> and this piece. And it also has another clip on it. So that is that. And that's what I had I had in mind for that was junk journaling, scrapbooking, anything vintage-y. Okay, next ephemera I ordered. And again, it's in Asian. This is, just says written sticker. And I don't know I, if this piece here is correct, it's 45 pieces. So this, actually the other one says 45. This might be 45 for the number. It is in the description of where I ordered it. If anyone's interested, I will link these links down below. Just let me know. <clears throat> and I can find them. Sometimes the shops close though and they go to new shops. So I'll do my best to try and find it if you're interested in this ephemera. If not, just have a look-see with me. And this is black and white and it's it's bird and it's got a uh, free spirit, happy place. Oh, that's so me. It's got 
you know, some, that looks like a doctor's prescription thing. It's just got some card pieces here. It's got, well, there's lots of those little birds. Looks like, is that a thermometer? Yeah, thermometer. Um, a little in French saying syrups, pâtés, chocolate, coffee. No, I'm not French. A little ceiling. You can fill these in if you want. Again, for junk journaling. More of those. Uh, here's a little tag that's being held on. Super cute. Map of Bellingham. So it's got some map pieces. A couple of those. Three, it looks like. And then it's got journaling cards. So here's some journaling cards. Again, there's more. And yeah, so I thought they'd be really fun for junk journals or friend mail for people that do junk journals and uh, they can have fun with that. And that one just says sail with me and then an old world map and three of those. So that is that ephemera. And that I believe is it for ephemera. Yes, it is. While we were on the theme of date stamps, when you saw in some of the vintage, I did order, I have three of them. Well, sorry, two. These are the wax seal, the wax sealers. So this will make, in real life, one of these wax seals. So this one's been stamped. It's, it's obviously pretend or a picture of one, but stamp. Don't mind my nails either, guys. I painted my nails and then this morning, and then I went and did a bunch of cooking and everything screwed up, and I haven't had time to fix them, but I did want to get this video up while I have everything out before the kids get home. Anyway, uh, this one would have been just stamped with no uh, label seal. Anyway, I ordered this one. So this one came, uh, I ordered the handle, so handle, and then these they can attach or detach and then this one is the T for Thompson so that's that one and then I ordered this one and it's again it's this the wax seal that you would make on an envelope and this one is a tree so I got that so I have two handles and then they can come off and to save a little bit of money if you don't want a handle for every one which I, I don't need I just got for Christmas, which it didn't come in until after Christmas, but I'll use them for next year. I got a little reindeer, and then I got a snowflake. So the other ones I can use year-round. These ones are more in mind for Christmas or winter. And again, they just screw on those. So I'm going to slowly build up my collection of those. I really think they're fun, especially I do like to send uh, written mail still. Uh, I think that is so fun and to get written mail in the mail and stuff. So I got that and then I ordered, okay, so I ordered silver and gold wax. This stuff you have to hold under a Bic type barbecue lighter. If you use a Bic, like a snap lighter, you'll, you'll burn, you'll get, it gets very hot and it hurts. So I don't recommend that, but, to, or candle going. And anyway, these drip wax and then if you want a demo I can actually do a demo that might be fun they drip wax and then you on your envelope wherever you want to seal you stamp into it and it makes that except mine have like a little stamp in them so anyway I got a silver one and a gold one of this type of wax and then I also got a, just a bag of the colored wax, so I thought it'd be fun just to have more colors instead of ordering the big pieces of wax. I thought I would use these more, so I ordered lots of that. And then I just ordered a multicolored piece, multicolored pieces of these, so you would melt one of these, and it came with a little spoon, and you melt it in the spoon again under your candle, or your barbecue lighter. I'm just gonna use a candle, it'll be so easy. You melt that. And then you would pour it, and then you would stamp your little uh, tree, and it would seal, envelope sealer. So I thought that was really cool. I'm really into vintage-y things, so I, th I just thought they were fun. So I got that. 
And then I have, what else do I have in these bags here I wanted to show you guys? I have some little stickers that came in. And these ones have a little kitty on the front, but I'm not sure if these were all kitties. I, I ordered these, again, everything I ordered before Christmas. And everything came in after Christmas. So I just, with Christmas, and I'm just starting to get caught up from being in holiday mode. So yeah, it all it is all kitties. So I got these kitties. I'll just try and get through these really quick. But oh, that reminds me of <laughs> Tina. Tina, if you're watching, does that remind me, me of, or reminds me of Peppy? Sorry. So cute. I forget tuxedo cats. That's what they're called. And then we got these little kitty faces. Oh, they're really cute. I'm trying to get convince my husband to get another cat right now. We lost it. So we used to have a Bengal cat, and he died when he was a couple years ago when he was 13. And we, we had a barn cat show up a number of years ago. Well, nine years ago, actually. And we had him. So his name was Sydney, and Harley was our Bengal cat. And then a just a barn cat that showed up at our back door that we took in and gave a home. And, oh, follow my feet. It's so cute. Anyway, he didn't come home after Thanksgiving. He was gone a week before Thanksgiving. Oh, these are so cute. And we haven't seen them since I've... We live out in the country, so, yeah, their coyotes were really bad. So we're not we're not sure what happened. Uh, I, I know he wasn't hit because uh, we I would have seen. But anyway, trying not to get sad about it. I really miss him, and I miss having a cat. So we're really trying to convince my husband to get another cat. And he even says we will eventually, but oh, isn't that one cute? Uh, we... He just wants to wait a little bit. So anyway, we have a puppy too. So it's probably good that we wait just a little bit while she refines herself before we bring in another cat. And we just set up a fish tank. My nine-year-old just set up this huge fish tank and he's working on that. So anyway, so there's the little kitty stickers. They are adorable. And then what else? I'm at 17. I guess I'll keep going. I got these unicorn cupcake uh decorators i actually got them in mind with crafting though more so than for crafting use more so than uh yeah, making cupcakes with uh, as you all know or if you're new i have sons i don't have i have four sons so i don't have daughters uh they would never let me put these on their cupcakes so i do have nieces and a little cousin my cousin's daughter that I could have over and we can make these. But I had these in mind for crafting. So that's them. And it's 25 pieces and it's really thick, cool cardboard. Really nice. And then just the unicorn picks. So I thought I could cut out the eyes and save the stars and things like that. And then these are little picks that you would pick in the top of the cupcake. Like, you know, like on your top. And then these wrap around. So I just thought they were super cute. So I had to order those. And I also got in just some uh, little, 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 tiny, tiny uh, seed beads. They're actually in the nail section, actually, for nail glitter or nail art. But I had these in mind for pocket letters for your little beads or for just delicate crafting is what I got them for and they they are 12 pieces they send them to you separately but this is they give you a free container so they come like that and I've never seen them this small in the dollar stores like these are tiny teeny tiny they look like they're like the size of a little poppy seed so I got it and the 12 colors are purple a lighter purple oop, red gold, white, black, multi-color, so it got all kinds of colors in there, silver, and this was very reasonable. I believe this thing was about two bucks for all of these. Blue, hot pink, a turquoisey blue, and a different type of gold. So there's your, uh, it's not going to really show on camera, but there's your, it's almost like a, a, this is more of a brassy gold. And then this one's your, you know, your true yellow gold. So 
that is that and I am at 19 minutes so I'm going to end this video here I do have more stuff I'd like to show you guys uh, but I, I'm just going to leave it today's Ali haul it here I hope everyone has a great day had a good weekend and that everyone's doing well please like share and subscribe I am going to give a little I have something here that I'm going to give for my 100 subscribers. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a 100 subscriber giveaway. It's nothing big, but I just, I want to say thank you. I didn't think I was going to do this YouTube thing. And like I said, Makeup Munchies and more. Go check out her YouTube channel. She convinced me. And I don't know, it's been fun. And I just thought, you know, it'd be really cute to, or fun to do that at 100. I know not everyone does that, but I would like to. Just a little something to say thank you. I was at 100 the other day and I'm back down to 97. That's totally fine. Uh, but I just want to say thank you. So at 100 subscribers, once I get 100 subscribers and it stays at 100 for a few days, I'm going to be giving away just a little something. So stay tuned for that. Please like sh and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell uh, to stay in touch with me. I have all kinds of things I'm working on doing and I'm working on how to do it. So I've got been in touch with uh, one of my uh, old scouts. Uh, he was at camp and his brother's in university and he is really good with uh, uh, this sort of thing. So he's going to help me uh, when he's home for uh, reading week. So anyway, everybody take care and I'll stop talking. Bye guys, please like, share, and share, and subscribe, okay?